Hope you're staying safe. My name is Iyana Chojuel Chibrize, a biology teacher. And welcome to biology class for SS2 students. Our topic today will be estuarine habitat. And our learning objectives today we are going to be looking at what estuarine habitats are, the characteristics of estuarine habitats, and also organisms found in an estuarine habitat. Now, estuarine habitat is a body of water formed at the coast as a result of the action of tide, which may sort water from sea with fresh water from the land. So that means the estuarine habitat is a mixture of salt water from the marine habitats and fresh water from the freshwater habitat. The mixing of salt water and fresh water results in the formation of the brackish water. Now, this brackish water is another name for the estuarine habitat. Characteristics of estuarine habitats. Number one, fluctuation in salinity. That means the salt concentration is not stable. It changes as a result of rainfall. That means salinity fluctuates in these habitats. Salinity is lower at the mouth of a river and gets higher towards the sea. Salinity is also affected by season. While rainy season reduces salinity due to addition of fresh water, dry season increases it. Turbidity. Turbidity of estuarine habitat increases especially during the rainy season when lots of debris is brought down by rivers to the habitat. This high turbidity also reduces the rate of photosynthesis and respiration by organisms. Now, turbidity is caused when there are a lot of debris in the water. Now, turbidity makes the water to become more viscous and less clear. Shallowness of water, number three. Unlike the sea water which is deep, the water in estuarine habitat is very shallow. Low species diversities. The estuarine habitat has low diversity of species compared to marine habitats. Common species are phytoplankton, algae, marsh, vegetation, and so on. White animal species are crabs, oysters, lobsters, and fishes. So that's to tell you that the number of organisms in the estuarine habitat is not much compared to the marine habitats. Water is affected by tides and we have high level of nutrients. And lastly, we have low oxygen content. So the estuarine habitat has low oxygen content. Types of estuarine habitats. Estuary is found on the following bodies of water. We have delta is an example. Now what is a delta? A delta is a river, is where a river divides into many channels before entry into the ocean. So a delta is where a river divides into many channels before it enters into the sea or ocean. So remember the estuarine habitat is like a habitat that connects the freshwater habitat to the marine habitat. So the channel where the river divides into many channels before entry into the sea or ocean is called a delta, a lagoon. A lagoon is a body of water that enters into the land through a canal and therefore has the opportunity of mixing with fresh water from rivers and stream. A bay. Alright? Bay is a little or small portion of the sea. Take note, a bay is a little or small portion of the sea water which enters into the land and mixes up with fresh water. So, a bay is an extension of the sea. Alright? It should be noted that a lagoon is bigger than a bay and it may be long enough to join the sea at another end. White Bay is very small and not long enough to rejoin the sea in another land. Now, this is a delta. Remember, a delta is a water where river cuts into many channels. So, this is a delta. This is a delta also. Now, let's look at a bay. Now, this is a bay. You can see the bay is an extension of the sea. Alright? So, it is a little water that extends from the sea to the land. So, actually, when you go to the beach side 
and then you would see a particular section where we have little water accumulation of water now that place is called a bay if you look here this is the sea now this is the bay all right this is a lagoon all right so here is a lagoon we have a lagoon here now that brings us to the assignment now you're going to state two differences between an estuarine and a freshwater habitat number as number one number two you mentioned five organisms both plants and animals in an estuarine habitat and then you would draw a typical food chain of an estuarine habitat so thank you very much for participating in this class so we'll meet